our brothers and sisters, we have been saying and greeting each other with Christ is risen for almost a month now. And we have been saying Christ is risen for almost 2,000 years now. The resurrection of Christ has been proclaimed in every Christian church, Orthodox, Protestant, Roman Catholic, for almost 2,000 years. The Bible's story of the resurrection has been read billions of times, as a matter of fact, trillions of times. And so the news of the resurrection <coughs> is no longer new. We have heard it over and over again. But the question remains, are we any closer to believing it? To believing it, to accepting it, to acting on it, to live according to it, to believe it and to make it the center of our hearts and our lives. So our problem is that the reality of the resurrection, if we are convinced that there really was a resurrection, the reality of the resurrection is not our experience. We're not familiar with it. Our world is a world of breakfast cereal, a salad for lunch, dinner at six, church and a little recreation on Sundays. Ours is a world of cars. Everybody has at least two cars now. Every family. You drive by the neighborhoods, how many cars are parked in every driveway now? When I was a kid, there weren't hardly any cars. Remember those days, some of you? So our world is a world of cars, television, read, or <coughs> how many TVs do you have in your home? And our world is a world, our life is a life of from time to time taking a little trip to the seashore, a Gunkwood Beach maybe, beautiful beaches here on Cape Cod or maybe visiting the White Mountains or the mountains in Vermont. That is our world. Our world doesn't seem to be a world of resurrection and messages from God. Or is it? That's exactly what the Gospel writers all the writers in the New Testament, in the Old Testament, all the holy men and women of the church, all of them have been trying to tell us all this time that people must be prepared. They must be ready to see this other reality of the resurrection so that it can have real meaning and purpose in our lives. We need to learn to watch and to pray and be open to the spiritual realities. That there is really and truly a spiritual world beyond this physical world that we see. Our bodies, our environment. There is another world, the world of the spirit. And if we're not ready and prepared it may pass us by. And we may never know that there really truly is a world of the Spirit. And that's why Jesus said, you have eyes, why don't you see? You have ears, why don't you hear, he said. And the modern day Christian put it this way, for what is Christianity essentially but the triumph of Pascha? 
the triumph of Christ, the victory of, of light over darkness, the victory of love over hate, hope over despair, truth over error, virtue over evil, life over death. And then he goes on to say, and that is why the Orthodox Church has always emphasized the resurrection. It is the resurrection that the Orthodox Church emphasizes to the point where the Orthodox Church is often called the Church of the Resurrection. Think what it would mean, my brothers and sisters, if we truly believed in the resurrection of Christ and we truly believe in the existence of a spiritual world, that it really does exist. That this room right now is filled with countless angels. <coughs> right now, maybe there are 50 or 60 or 70 people in here, but we Orthodox believe this church is full of angels and saints. They exist and they are real. What if we could believe truly in the resurrection of Christ? Then we would know that there is a supreme mind who has created and controls this universe of ours. That someday the scales will be tipped in favor of those people today who are hungry and suffering and in pain, despised and forgotten. Think of how it would be if we truly believed in the resurrection that someday there would be everlasting peace and that someday really and truly the lion is going to lie down with the lamb. Think what it would mean if we truly believed that love is indeed the greatest gift in the universe. The greatest gift in the universe is love because God is love. We need never be depressed. We need never give up because Christ our Lord is really and truly with us, always inside of us, all around us, whether we are aware of it or not, he is here. Think of what it would mean if we truly believed that what he said is true. <clears throat> that we're going to live with him forever. We're going to share in a glory that is beyond human comprehension. My brothers and sisters. Have you ever had a little trouble dealing with the resurrection? Be true to yourself. Well, that's okay. It's okay. Let God bring the picture of his son's resurrection more clearly to your minds. Don't be conformed to this world, said St. Paul. He said further on, be transformed, transformed, so that Christ becomes the key to your reality. Let the resurrection of Christ, my dear brothers and sisters, become a living reality for you. That reality, maybe the one that will sweep us out of ourselves, and into the loving arms of God. Let us pray. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down death, and to those in the tombs he has bestowed life. Christ is risen. Truly, Truly is risen.